Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments. We're walking into 824 Washington, number one north. It's a good size two bedroom. I'm standing in the entryway and we have the electric off. So this is the only dark like square footage in the whole apartment. If I turn to my left, I have a big entry closet, which is probably about three plus feet deep has a hanging bar and some shelves as well as hooks on this side. Um, as we walk into the apartment, you can see how light it gets. And we're looking into the, uh, the living room and to my right is the dining room. So I'm going to go into the dining room and right again into the kitchen and we'll work our way back from the kitchen. So you see the back door that will take you down to laundry and a uh, little bit of storage. We have the original cabinets, which have been refinished, restained. Nice hardwood floors. Hardwood floors are beautiful throughout. We just had them uh, re-sanded and refinished. Full-size stove, some storage to the left of the stove. A little bit of the original cabinetry above. A full-size fridge, twin stainless steel sink. The countertops are not racked, they're laminated, but they're very clean. We have a dishwasher and storage under the sink. I'll start by opening up the dishwasher. Well, and that needs to be cleaned a little bit, but we will clean that up. Um, again, you can see the uh, countertop is squeaky clean. The twin stainless steel sinks. Um, underneath the sink, very dry, very easy to use as storage. I'll turn it on just so you know. Good water pressure, it drains beautifully. Sink really was just put in last year, I think. Full size fridge with a freezer on top. Again, the electric is off, so I'm gonna keep the door open just a little bit. Underneath you have a standard fridge with crisper drawers and a butter dish. Again, the hardwood floors are gorgeous. The windows are newer and they face east. This building is on a lot and a half, so you can see the parking to the right a little bit. We do have parking available, but you get terrific light in these units as a result. There's no building next door. Again, we have nice counter space, a couple of outlets there, an outlet here, full size stove that is not new, but is squeaky clean. We have storage underneath the countertop and again underneath the, uh, the drawers. We also have the original storage, which I think this would, counter would have been a part of a bread drawer. But if we open that up, we have the shelves and there's shelves on top. And we have drawers underneath that are also easy to use and more storage underneath that. We have a broom closet. Let's see what we have in here. Well, I guess we actually have shelves in here. So really quite a bit of storage in the kitchen. Dishwasher, tw twin stainless steel sink, full size fridge, more counter space, more storage, and a full size stove. So that's the kitchen. We'll go back out into the dining room. And you see the dining room is a big room. This room is probably 14 by 11, 13 by 11, maybe 14 by 11. Again, the windows are facing east to the half lot. You can see the radiator. The windows have all been, are all newer windows. They're terrific windows. And the dining room is contiguous with the living room. Here the windows are facing north, but we still get a, just a terrific amount of sunlight. Um, now I'm just going to walk around the dining area to sort of get a peek into the bathroom. But I'm going to come back into the living room and sort of pan across the windows. So there are five windows, some built-in shelves around a decorative fireplace. Big room. You can hear my voice echo a little bit. It's probably... Oh, 16 feet at least across by 12 or 13 feet wide, uh, wide. So it is a nice size room, ceiling fan, sconces. If I walk to the window, you'll see that we're facing Washington here. 
and you can see we're looking out right onto Washington. So I'm going to turn around, pan around, show you the decorative fireplace, very nice, and give you a sense of the space of these two rooms together, which is just quite a bit. And you can see the back door and the kitchen from here. Now to the right, you're looking into one of the bedrooms. So I'll head over to that. And on the way, you can see sort of down into the entry, which is, like I say, the only dark couple of square feet in the whole apartment. And we do have light there, but just the electricity is off right now. So we'll walk past the bathroom into the first bedroom, or the back bedroom, if you will. Both bedrooms are about the same size. They're both, you know, ten and a half by ten, something like that. Fairly square, beautiful hardwood floors. The window here is facing west, and it's a bright day, so... And you also have a big ceiling fan and radiator. As I walk in... Oh, there I am. You can see the closet which has a hanging bar and a shelf to the left and another hanging bar and shelf to the right and in between it's probably about six feet so it's about six feet wide and about two feet deep it's actually quite a nice size closet and you can see the little string isn't attached to a light so it does have its own light again the electric is off so if I stand in the closet and show you the bedroom you see the window hardwood floors. We're looking out into the living room and there is the ceiling fan. A nice size bedroom, very clean, big closet, good light. So we'll walk out of the bedroom and into the bath. Now you have a squeaky clean bath, standard toilet, sort of standard tile floors, Big uh, sink and storage underneath the sink. Newer faucet, which I will turn on. You see it runs beautifully, drains beautifully. Newer medicine cabinet. Whoops, I'm opening the wrong side. And so you have a newer medicine cabinet. Light fixture in the middle of the ceiling. These tiles have been refinished. And so they are completely clean. The ton of tub has also been reglazed, so that's very nice. Again, you have the newer windows. And I will check the hot water as soon as I turn off this hot water. And show you underneath, which is not spotless, but still can be used for storage. It is completely dry. So let's turn on the hot water here. Make sure everything's going. Whoops, there we go. Oh, well that's unusual. We have a handheld wand plus a shower head. The wand is probably about 6'3". The shower is maybe 6 feet or so. But they're both going right now and you have good water pressure out of both. You can see the tub is draining beautifully. So I'm sure we can turn off that wand. I'm not going to wrestle with the water in order to do that right now. I'm just going to shut it down and let it drain out. So again, nice clean sink, storage underneath, uh, medicine cabinet, standard toilet, outlet by the uh, medicine cabinet, really a clean, clean tub and the tiles are super nice. They've been redone. Nice newer window that's easy to open so you can air it out. Um, and that, I think, is it for the uh, bathroom. We're looking into the dining room as we come out. Swing around, we see a little bit of the living room. Before we get to the second bedroom, we have a built-in linen closet. And you can see the drawers underneath, and the shelving, and a nut more storage on top. It's actually a very pretty piece. So it's one of the nice things about this apartment is that there is a cherry stain to offset the, uh, the white paint. Like I say, both bedrooms are about the same size. This bedroom, however, has two windows, one facing west and one facing north. 
This might be a half a foot uh, bigger in one direction or another, but still basically 10 by 10 and a half, something like that. Hardwood floors, big ceiling fan. The window facing north faces out onto Washington, which I can sort of show you. And as I spin around, the one that window faces the courtyard, which I can probably also show you. Let's see if I can look this up. There we go. And there is the courtyard. Again, the windows are new. We have a nice closet in this bedroom also, similar, in that it has the hanging bar and shelf to the left. Another hanging bar and shelf to the right. This is probably a foot less long, so more like five feet across, two feet deep. But it does have a nice shelving unit up there. And uh, so you can put stuff on top. But these also act as hanging bars, so you can hang, uh, put your hangers on that. Again, we have the light fixture. And if I swing around from the closet, you get a very similar look from, as from the front door. This room is a little more square than the other. Nice. Either bedroom could easily do a queen-size bed, so that is kind of nice. Both bedrooms have a lot of outlets. I think there's three for each. And they sort of are across from one another with the bath and the linen closet in between. So I'm just going to walk into the living room and show you the living room one more time. Decorative fireplace, big room. My voice echoes a little bit. Maybe I'll go this way to show you the dining room. A lot of light in this apartment, so it's really nice that way. You can see into the kitchen, and then we go back this way, and we can see towards the front door. So that's all there is. Thank you for watching.